ready? <sighs> I got you every sheep breed imaginable. And the badass sheep. <laughs> there were some fresh sheep breeds that weren't in my previous tier list. We're gonna start with the Algerian sheep, which is the one that has the horns cur curl around the ears. I think it's a very cool feature. It's like he's got ginormous earrings. So I will class this as a supreme sheep. He's got the spooky eyes too. And the very defined hairline. He goes to the barber every day, chat. Look at him. The next one's called the Awasi and he's got the um, thick horns. When people drink like meat at renaissance festivals what kind of horn is that is that a sheep horn is that a hollowed out sheep horn do i need to fear for my croissants wait a minute does panera steal my croissants for bread bowl is this what happens while i'm asleep and i wake up with a headache do they take my horns chat be real with me does panera have a croissant horn bread bowl bread bowl bread soup bowl maybe a big horn is a great big asset also really nice long hair supreme sheep now, the next one is called a Barbados Black Belly. That name is an immediate downgrade. <laughs> they look like those, um... Oh, frick, what are they called? Those puddings. Have you ever been to a Japanese 7-Eleven? And you've seen the puddings with the... With the black sugar sauce on them? It's like that, but upside down, but as a sheep. I can't believe that has wool whatsoever. Because look at it, chat. There's, like, minimum amount of wool. So, I don't know for sheer ability if there is a lot to get. But very fashionable. It looks like what I would imagine a sheep would wear saggy pants. No wool mint sheep, right? I don't think there's wool for this one. So I'm gonna go say better with lamb sauce. Now sheep number four, so it looks a little bit suspicious with those googly eyes. Where would you put this one? I don't know what kind of breed this is. I don't know who made this. I don't know if its parents were related. I <laughs> who is who is this? Why is that? Top S tier. <laughs> How would you rate a sheep with no wool? Better with lamb sauce, probably. That she better be top of the list. Where would you guys put this? Where should we put where should we put the BA sheep? Very top of Supreme Sheep? Oh, no way. This is chat's decision. I have no say in this. Okay. The next one is called a be a Bell T. Look at it. Look at that face. What is that dog breed? Were they like super muscly? Look at him. He looks like he lifts 10 times his body weight, chugs a shaker full of whey protein for breakfast. And then goes home to kiss your mom. It kind of looks like someone wanted to make a sheep out of a pig. <laughs> when when they tell the kid to go and draw a person and this is what they come up with. That's a serious sheep! So where would you put this one? I like wide sheep. I think it's cool, but it's a little bit spooky. Cute but spooky. I wouldn't want to run into that in an alley. <laughs> he wouldn't even ask for your wallet. You would just hand it over, take the money out, put it on the ground and let him eat it. The next one is called uh, Bermagasco. Bermagasco? And it has long floppy ears. I don't think it's a sheep. I think it's a bunny disguised as a sheep. So I don't know if I would, if I would cast it as a sheep. But the long floppy ears get me. It looks like a banui. He looks like he's cozy though. This is the face my cats make when there's sunlight. And they just can bask in it and go, ah. Cab after visiting the bar but with Lulu. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a big banui, right? That's not a sheep. I would say not a sheep. I'm not believing this. This Hello, is a bad The next one is called a bizzit. Not a bidet. It's called a bizzit. That's a big sheep. Is it? Is it a big sheep? Aren't all sheep kind of big up close? That's so freaking cute, right? That's a chonker. <laughs> That's a B tier sheep right there. Are you sure? But it got a racing stripe. That means it can go faster. And pog big horns. All right, I'm gonna give it a. Is B tier all right or better with lamb sauce? Where would you put it? That's where my wine corkscrew went. Sentient wine corkscrew. I think it's an alright sheep. I wouldn't cast it as supreme, but the racing stripe does make it better. Now, the next one also looks like a tape here. <laughs> this one is called a uh, blackhead Persian sheep. And it's kind of cute. It got the dumpy though. Like a fat tailed sheep. You guys know that sheep have butts? Now you know. No wool? Breaks phone and skateboard. Its legs are so skinny. It's like fingers. Persian sheep, not a sheep? Question mark? That's so sad, so tragic. Can we get like five gifts? Another sheep out. That trucker has milk. I know sheep have milk too. It's not that bad. Sheep milk's actually pretty nice. The next one's called a Cameroon. And honestly, it looks like a gazelle. Look at it. Aesthetically, it's so pleasing. But it doesn't look like a sheep. This sheep is wearing the hot pants the long way. If a sheep wore hot pants, would it wear it like this? Or like this? It looks so much more like a goat. I wonder if it's shearable. Like the baby does look like a goat. They lied to you. That's a good way. <laughs> That's a gazelle hybrid sheep. Or like a hybrid no car. Yet. <laughs> that one looks very polite. That is true. It looks like don't ever talk to me or my son again. Comma. Please. 
witness doing subathon. Man, is that my Easter lamb? Can I taste? Try it. No, that's not a that's not a sheep. That's that's not a sheep. It's a gazelle goat hybrid. The next sheep looks very British, this, but it's Canadian. <laughs> this one is called a Canadian Arcot. I do believe this one's pregnant. Don't mind my father, Satan himself, in the background right there. And then there's also a goat. Geese are evil, chat. Geese are very evil. The cobra chicken. I've seen so many pregnant and um, just unpregnant sheep during my road trip last week. I can tell when a sheep is pregnant. I'm sorry. See, this one doesn't look like it has skinny, skinny legs. It looks like it has the wider legs. I guess this is an all right sheep. It looks like a sheep. Sheep's queer technically if it's pregnant. This one is called a castle milk. Don't ask me why. I don't know if he's sheared or if he's going bald, but I'm not shaming him. I think he's kind of... He looks kind of good. He's got that smug smile that I imagine Chad has whenever Hydra makes a spicy comment. That horn looks cool, right? It's like big earrings. My favorite chip is the purple one that makes the funny noises. Also, not me, I see. Rams are all S tier. Some here. Those cool horns. I like the I like the coloring. It's really hard to sometimes find animals of like a brown coloring. Like brown cats are really rare. Brown sheep are really rare. But please brush your tongue. I must say S tier because horns. The next sheep is British, I think. This one's called a Dartmoor and it kind of looks like. A creature I would make in spawn. Uh, in, in spore. Look at this. That's a dog, right? You can't tell me that's a sheep. If that approached me, I was like, oh my god, puppy, you want you want some ham? And she would look at me like, you what, mate? Bye. It looks like it would have a really deep voice. That's a sheep dog. Dog sheep. The other way around. That's I an I want undercover what she sheepy has. revenue service agent. <laughs> I don't care what she the IRS sends. I'm not paying my... Oh my god, what is that? You know what it looks like? It looks like it should go... Ed... Word... It looks like it needs <laughs> to go to the farm. No! <laughs> the farm upstairs? Six Flags? Wait, they're going to Six Flags, right? But chat, look at his cool haircut. I think... This one's cute but spooky. It's the same as this thing. <laughs> Saw a bunch of these on our road trip, by the way. They scare the sheep out of me. The next one looks like NASCAR. This one is called a Derby Sh Derbyshire. It's from the Shire chat. They're taking the sheepers to Isengard. He's like all freckles. I think it's really cute. It got the long tail. He's just a little guy. He looks like the one from that vine where the TV reporter is like, would you not, would you not eat my pants? And then she gets run over by a sheep. I like the freckle look. I think freckle makes it cuter. Can we give it an S tier? S tier? That's a top hat eating sheep. Absolutely. I think it would look super cute with a little top hat on. Supreme sheep. The next one is called a Dishley Merino, which is where Merino wool comes from. Have you ever touched Merino wool? It looks very, it feels very good. It looks very good, but it feels exactly how this image looks. Very, very haunted. That looks like the dash cam before, before disasters happen. That's a person in a sheep suit. I don't like it. It looks too perfect, Chad. Am I wrong? It looks like somebody drew like the outline of a sheep and filled it in Photoshop. Is this AI? That's scary and I thought you <laughs> said burrito. <laughs> it stares into my soul. I don't like it. It looks too human. It's the side angle face. It looks too human. Sheep that escaped the mafia. It's undercover. That's a dusty ass sheep. <laughs> Dishley Merino cannot hurt you. Dishley Merino under your bed. Ba ba ba. Pay your CP taxes. Pay your CP taxes or else. Too you... rectangular to be a sheep. <laughs> this looks more like a chat bubble. <laughs> Merino wool is really expensive but also really smooth. But I think it's that way because the sheeps are kind of scary. They need human sacrifice to, to stay this shiny and smooth. I would put it in spooky because that's really scary. <laughs> Reverse Easter sacrifice. This next one is called a Gudafar. I couldn't find an English name, but that's the Danish this name. Tell me that's not a model. Look me in the eye and tell me that that's not from a magazine cover of Sheep Weekly. Majestic, right? That's divorce dads in your area ad, but for sheep. They got really, really fine wool. Do you Lulu, see that sheep? I think it took your horns. Or you took it. They're mine now! Mother truckers! Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Those are really nice horns. I do think they look like they look like the horns that I have. Little cross on. Um, he looks like he will go to a coffee shop and then order only only an Americano and sit there and write his entire movie script in one sitting. That's his energy. And he would look so hot doing it. The next one looks really demonic. The name that Wikipedia gave it when I downloaded it is called Heidi Schnuke, which I think translates to 
pond girl of the of the sheep pen how it is like where sheep eat right the power of christ compels you <laughs> How do you get my family boy. photo? Are you good toxy? Are we related? Look at this little whoops. He's got a little mustache. That sheep look angry. Does he look angry? Or was he just drawn that way? Look at their side profiles too. They look too perfect. One wants to fight. Oh, the ones in the background. Yeah, they're doing the Arby's parking lot. But look at their long, their long wool. Little horns. Little demon eyes. Externally, he's like, hello, how are you doing? And internally, he's like... <laughs> I think it's spooky, but I really like the vibe. Like, the goth girlfriend of sheep. I think he's very cute. Look at his hair parting. That's so cute. It's like Esther to keep him out of my dreams. Valid point, valid point. Demonic sheep, S tier. The next one's also really, really cute. The next one is called a lonk. This is the scientific name for the sheep. This is long from Pennsylvania. <laughs> but these ones are also called lonk. And they do have the reverse freckles. Look, they got little knee... They got little knee pads, Jell. How would you rank the lonk on our sheepy tier list? B tier for meme. Better with lamb sauce. We have lonk with lamb sauce. It looks so fluffy, though. And so polite. Okay, I'm gonna put lonk in the better with lamb sauce. As tier, that fluff is adorable. S, S. Well, we only have one B tier for the meme. Everyone else... Higher us tier, us tier. Okay, long, long for the meme. Sorry, Pennsylvania people. I think you're pong. Thank you for giving us pretzels and always sunny in Philadelphia. That's in the same place, right? Right? Philadelphia and Pennsylvania is the same place, right? Right? Oh my god! Please don't embarrass me. The next one is called a million blue. I don't think it's blue. I think they lied to us. Uh, excuse me. Would you mind importing my very important sheep? Now, this looks like a Minecraft sheep if I've ever seen one. NPC out of 10 sheep. <laughs> She's gonna give you an optional quest that you never finish. Because it's way out of your way and the reward is next to nothing. The sheep of all time. This one... There's something wrong with it and I can't quite tell what. This one is called a Nasty. It got that middle part. That's a grandpa sheep. He's gonna tell you to get off my lawn. Why the long face here, buddy? Looks Ugh. like he could be a good internet scammer. <laughs> Does it not look like that dog where it's like gray and white and it's like really fluffy and you can't see his eyes? That's a goat. <laughs> is it a sheep or is it a goat? It's like a super tall Lakeland Terrier. That's a... He'd give you a piece of his wool and say it's cold outside alone. Take this. Is that Toriel? I don't know. Confirm? Is she gonna like make us some pie and let us stay at her house? I'm gonna say not a sheep. That's a dog. Now, if you guys said the last one was a default sheep, what are you guys gonna think of this one? This one's just called a Norwegian. I'm not kidding. That's a Moomin. That's the cast of the Moomins in a costume. You cannot tell me that that's a sheep. That is way too magic. Look at it. It looks like a cheap ramen packet. Trojan sheep out of 10. You guys think there's smaller sheep inside? It's not a sheep. Better with sauce? Not a sheep, not a sheep, not a sheep. Sheep ramen? Okay, not a sheep. That's a ramen packet. Got it. Norway invented instant ramen. I learned something new today. The more you know. Now, Ted, the next one looks super caked up. <laughs> On this Sunday afternoon, this one is called a Paul Marino. Look at that real estate. Look at all that wool. Absolute unit. Look at it. That sheep is on steroids and you can't tell me otherwise. Look at his chest muscles, Ted. Nobody has pecs like that. There's no way. There's either a very big sheep or a very small fence. But look at the human hat next to it. That's that's an adult human hand. That's one chunky sheep. Is that Hulk Hogan? <laughs> How would you rank him, Chad? Do you want to rank him supreme sheep? Because he's got that real estate. That's wool for an entire factory. They're going to make all the British sweaters this winter from the one sheep. S tier for sure. So you guys know of Pomeranians, the dogs, right? Have you heard of Pomeranian sheep? It's just a little guy. It's just a little guy. A little super floofy guy. Look at it. This one's really cute. This one's also preggers. Don't ask. I just know her. Sheep to sheep communication. Russian nesting doll sheep out of 10. <laughs> Matroshka sheep out of 10. Let's go SD her. The next one is called a ram bullet. I don't know how to pronounce French word. This one's literally called ram bullet. He's got my ears chat. And look at his little back feet seals with the long pants. And an earring. A hipster sheep. He need a bath. <laughs> Wait, why does he need a bath? B for big horns. I see more bees than A's in chat. The next one is really cool. It's called a Romanov. And it looks like when an Elden Ring 
They're like nun looking class. The confessor class? That's it! Does he not look like that? Does he not look like Elden Ring confessor class? That's not a sheep. That's a costume character sheep. He will bleed for our sins. <laughs> it looks like he goes to the country club. Oh, like when people tie their sweater over their polo on the top. I haven't seen that in forever. I think confessor sheep is S tier. He's got a job too. Next one is called a rough fell. Another mod. He looks AI generated a little bit. Am I wrong? Look at those itty bitty little ears. He looks like... I'm so shy. Two fingers pointing at each other emotes together. Can you help me? Can you help me pick up my laundry from the laundromat? I would buy this 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 sheep um, Discord premium. I think this sheep would headbutt me and I'd love it. <laughs> Say no more, S tier. It looks very similar to this one that we already ranked. The next one's a little bit spooky looking. This one's from Ikea. It's called a skidden. I don't know where the wool... But he does look like he's an Ikea sheep. Am I wrong? I do believe they took his wool because there's wool in the background. Hold up. Is that not a goat? When sheep get sheared and everyone gets confused, the horns are massive. It looks comfy after the shave. Like if you grew out your beard for an entire year and then you shave it off. B with the salt. Lingonberry with the salt. This one is called a churro. I'm not, I'm not kidding. This one is called a Spanish churro. Looks like a floating rock. <laughs> the sheep is wearing shoes. Its body doesn't look like it fits with the face and legs. Somebody went ham on the character creator there. I think they're cute. I like the churro one too. I'm gonna put it in cute but spooky. The next one's very cute. Next one's in the snow. This one is called a valet black nose. Look at that baby. This one got spiky horn. Like, like when you got those belts with the little spikes on them in middle school. These sheep make me think. <laughs> I think it's very boopable. Its nose looks very boop. Toxie says eight tier. The calves is supreme. Eh? Tilda says eh? Eight tier it is. This one is called a Wensleydale, like the cheese. I don't know about the one in the background. Don't ask me about that. I have no idea. But they're photobombing him hard. He just got sheared, but he went to the one barber that has two stars on Google and that kept watching TikToks while shearing him. Poor Wensleydale! I'm really not sure if that's a sheep or a cow in the background. I couldn't tell you. Maybe he's like me and he had to watch a YouTube tutorial on how to shave. And he effed it up. B tier? Okay. B for better with la poor lamb. Poor lambs lost. Poor Wensleydale. The last one we got is called a Zelda with the X, not a Z. I hope I pronounced that right. They got that middle school haircut. They're very cute though! Look at the babies. They got like a white patch of hair. They got the bald spot. It looks like it has a little bow on its head. That's a wig and sheep disguise. That's where toupees come from. Every time someone buys a new toupee, one's eldest sheep has to be shrunk down with the shrink ray and then just lives on there. That makes sense. Toupee sheep out of 10. There's way too many supreme sheep. Zelda and Lonk have to be together. Wait, where's the Lonk? There's the Lonk. Put them together next to each other. I miss Tila's content so much. If you have any recommendations for Tila's that you want me to do, do let me know. Bye, YouTube!